recipe page and today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin bread. It is a delicious addition to any Thanksgiving meal or it's just nice to have as an addition to any fall meal. Um, it smells delicious baking and it can even be eaten with um, as a dessert. So I'm going to start off. Um, I have half this recipe but um, the recipe typically makes two loaves but I have halved it because I only want to make one loaf today. And so it calls for one and a half cups of sugar. A half a cup of oil. And one and a half eggs. Because um, I don't know how to get one and a half eggs, um, my chickens lay odd sized eggs. So we're going to use a big one and a little one and call that one and a half eggs. We're going to mix this all together. Wash my hands again. We just want to be safe. And then I'm going to mix this all together. To this, I'm going to add one cup of pumpkin. So, I'm going to get a This is not my kitchen, so I am not sure where a uh, um, pin opener is, but I'm pretty sure it's right here. So, I'm going to And since it's a cup of pumpkin, I'm just going to use half a can. So I'm just going to uh, eyeball this. I'm going to get another spoon to spoon out my pumpkin. Just put half of this in here, just half the can. So I kind of got it measured with my hand just to know how much of this goes in here. suppose you could um, do all of this from scratch with homemade pumpkins, but I tend to try to take the easy way. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cinnamon to that. That just makes it taste delicious and spicy. And then also to that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Goes in there too. Make sure that is all mixed up well. It's already smelling delicious. And then I'm going to add my flour. out of the bowl like I just did. The thing about baking is you gotta be prepared to make a mess. It is fun. Okay, and once this is mixed up, I'm going to put it in my grease. And then this 
Crystal bake for 45 minutes. Oh, so. he's running back. Stick a butter and grease this so that it doesn't stick. And then you'll want to cook this for 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into it comes out clean. Sometimes I found that it may need to bake just a little bit longer <laughs> or you get a gooey bread. What it's, temperature? It bakes at 350. it. I have my oven already preheating, so it is ready. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this in the oven for 45 minutes. I will see you when it is done. This actually, this bread has cooked a little bit longer than, oh, that's good. It's cooked a little bit longer than the um, 45 minutes. It's actually cooked about an hour. But you know it's good, and when a knife comes out or a toothpick and it's clean, then you know your bread is done. So as you can see, we have this delicious pumpkin bread, and it's ready to slice. You can serve it warm. I've actually made cinnamon butter to go with it before. You can serve it with regular butter. You can serve it just plain without any butter, and it is delicious. It's an amazing snack, an amazing dessert, or an amazing side dish to any Thanksgiving meal. Happy cooking and happy Thanksgiving.